Welcome back. Very excited to talk to the Lake Tahoe Summerfest. Madeline Myling, uh, the founder of the festival, and then Joel Revson. You're the uh, the maestro, as 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 we said. We were just talking during the commercial break, and I'm going, "Come on, are you really doing something up there?" And it's amazing the amount of work and time that you've put into it. Well, I really believe in this project, and we've gathered some of the finest musicians from all over the country, uh, people that are principal players of the some of the top orchestras in the United States. There are, I think, 17 players from the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra in New York are coming down here for this. Uh, principal players from the San Francisco Symphony, LA Philharmonic, Seattle Symphony, Vancouver Symphony, Dallas Symphony. They're all coming to form this orchestra. Now, is this common to take so many different components from so many other orchestras around North America and bring them into one deal? I mean, I would think it'd be hard because they'd be missing out on their obligations in other towns, other well, cities. Well, many orchestras, either if they have a summer series, it's often a pop series. Uh -huh. And um, right. many of the principal players opt out for that. Of the major orchestras, not like the Met doesn't have a summer opera. Uh, the Met takes a vacation during that time. Yeah. But they're arguably the greatest orchestra in the United States. And we've managed to get some of the finest players from the Met Orchestra to come up here, including the Associate Concert Master, who will be our Concert Master for Lake Tahoe Summerfest. Well, that's very exciting. So and, and this is the first, this is the inaugural event, as we say, the first time you've put all this together. Kind of give me the big overview of, of what's going to take place and, and how things are going to play out over this three-week period. Well, Lake Tahoe Summerfest has a big vision, and the vision really is to bring world-class cultural events to Lake Tahoe, to the basin. And it will be four components. There'll be Summerfest Concerts, mm -hmm. which is what we're talking about here today, Summerfest Arts, Summerfest Institute, and the theater piece is the Lake Tahoe Shakespeare Festival. They are our partner. What's the Institute part? Uh, the Institute will be some type of educational seminar, similar to what they have in Aspen, like the Aspen Institute. Oh. Where we'll have you know, world-class speakers coming to the Lake Tahoe Basin to be able to you know, involve our, the community in challenging and stimulating conversation. Yeah, this is great. I don't know much about this, this type of music or this type of art, but I just know these type of events for Lake Tahoe that, that really do brand us as a community and the lake and bring people to, have you been here before, Joel, to Lake Tahoe? Only for a, a week once. Really? Yeah, and fell in love with it. I mean, it, it is the most gorgeous destination. And we thought this is a natural to be an arts and cultural destination in the summer. Yeah. And that's the reason for founding this festival. Well, and you must be grateful because <laughs> I know you live in Arizona. And this is like, get you out of town, get you out of Arizona in August, that's my it. God. That's <laughs> it. But you know what? I taught at the Aspen Music Festival for nine summers uh -huh. uh, from 1982 to 1991. And this is a lot easier to get to. You fly into Reno, 45 minutes, you're at the concert. I know. And and we have the lake. Yeah. You have the lake. I know. Here, and, so. and this time of year, you, know, you go to Aspen, and, and all due respect to Aspen, I have friends that live there, I love it. But this shoulder season in Aspen, it turns muddy, it turns not much to do. Here, here we're going skiing, we're playing golf, we've got, it's it's such a balance right. uh, so living up can, here. So people can play, go out on the lake, play golf during the day, and at night here, some of the most some of the masterpieces of music. It is. It's, it's amazing. We, we have, I, th I think, just for a ski town, we've got these kind of events is really right. what's going to help take us in the right direction. Absolutely. When is the event? Where is it? Where do people get the information uh, for tickets and to get involved? Well, the first season, as we said, is this season. And you can get tickets by going online and looking at our website. Um, our concerts start, our, our musicians arrive July 30th. We start rehearsal on the 31st of July, and it goes through August 20th. So it's three weeks of world-class music yeah, just in a concert tent on the campus of Sierra Nevada College in Incline Village. Which is beautiful. I love it. Yeah. God, this is great. So as a maestro, I mean, you've got to bring all these people together that some you've probably worked with, some you've never met, right. I would imagine. Well, I've worked at the Met for eight seasons, so many of them I know, some I don't. And so we're going to come together and just share music together. And these are, as I said, some of the finest instrumentalists in the, in, in the world. And our soloists are world-renowned. Um, we're bringing arguably the greatest piano trio together, violin, cello, piano, the Kallenstein, Loretta Robinson trio. They'll be in residence as soloists for the first two weekends and, um, and a fabulous singer from the Metropolitan Opera coming the third week. This is unbelievable. So, this is really cool. This is, this is, is going to be an amazing this. festival. And this must be exciting for you. 43 years you've, you've worked in, in the industry. I've been making a living in music 43 years. And how did you get started? Well, I started piano when I was five and a half years old. I grew up in Chicago and never really thought I was going to go into music as a profession. 
But after my first year of college, I realized I had to either give up music completely or really take it seriously. And I ended up going to Juilliard School in New York and got both my degrees in conducting from there. And the rest just kind of happened. Wow. Do, do you have some sort of uh, pre-game uh, uh, preparation that you do? Like, like you know, some people have... Right. You know what I'm talking do about. I kiss Are you the super, yeah, you're superstitious. Like, <laughs> well, I could make up something for you if I, if I, if I wanted to. But no, I mean, I, what I try to do is at least take a half an hour before each concert and just be by myself and get into the character of the music and so I can really help bring it to life on the podium. Well, this is really, this is exciting to have this quality uh, of event in Lake Tahoe. So great job bringing yeah. it to Lake Tahoe and, and we're really excited to, to have you here. Well, thank you for your interest. And we hope we'll get huge sellout concerts for every every program we do. We'll do yeah, what we tickets can. Tickets are, are available right now online at TahoeSummerfest.org. We have VIP season pass available, and that includes the nine concerts as well as a VIP ticket to the Lake Tahoe Shakespeare Festival or individual tickets to the concerts, the chamber music concerts, and it's all online, TahoeSummerfest.org. And that website was up there on the screen, so great to have both of you oh. in here. We look forward to uh, late July, early August for uh, three weeks of... Uh, art and culture here in Lake We'll Tom. see you at the concert. <laughs> yeah. We'll take a quick break and be right back after this TNT.